Becca. We've had both supreme highs and legitimate lows, but through it all, from tears of sadness to tears of joy, you were there. Grant, from the day we met and you said you wanted to marry me, <laughs> until this moment, our life together has unfolded more perfectly than I could have ever dreamed. After our second date, I wrote in my journal, Grant feels like home. This feeling has become more true with every passing day. As we've grown together, I've discovered so much I love about you. I love how you do everything with a purpose. I love your confidence and standing up for what you know is right. I love that you're the most solid, trustworthy thing I've ever had. And I'm honored to be here for you forever. But as I've said before, I don't want to be your boyfriend anymore. And when it comes to being your husband, I'm more than ready. You're the best friend, son, brother, and partner there is. I love the way you love me, and I promise to always love you well, forever and ever. By the power vested in me by the state of North Carolina, I could not be happier to now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Dreams in the sand. and all that could be Shadows turning into light Our eyes open wide And when we're together The world comes alive Every color shining so bright The hope that we hold The story unfolds Together we find we'll get there one day at a time. First time I met Becca, I asked her, what do you like about Grant? I tried to hide my surprise, but, and she looked me right in the eye and didn't hesitate. And she said, his values. Hearing that response, which is the perfect response to that question, I've given that a lot of thought since we had that little conversation. There is not a better answer you could give to a father. That was awesome. When we're together, the world comes alive. Every color shining so bright. I hope that we hold the story unfold. Becca, you had me at values. You're an amazing human being. I'm so happy for the two of you.